Mark. Wasn't Great. referring to that whatsoever. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, Can you tell us when the next meeting will be? Yes, well, we, no. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we, were, we, we were supposed to be. Uh, we, we were supposed to uh, go to a LA land, uh, 32 land use committee meeting earlier this week, and then um, it got canceled. I think. That's correct. It did. The chair resigned, and that's why it was right. canceled. So, so that canceled. So there was going to be that meeting. So um, if people want, we can have a follow-up meeting. And I know people have been communicating with Zanae in the councilman's office, which is great because, you know, she'll, I mean, I'll check in with her periodically. And um, we can, you know, create another meeting if, if people are interested. And um, whether it would be... I and mean, at some point we're going to come and do a formal presentation. The first one we're going to do. So I just check with like the city when the next when the land use committee meets. Because then we're going to come. It's going to be much much shorter. It's only going to give us 15 minutes. We're going to do a presentation. Maybe have some modifications. Maybe have some responses to some of the questions and thoughts. And have that. That'll be kind of our first. Will you come for that meeting? Because that committee is going to get established because this is a very important issue in this community. So that committee is going to be established again. When you do come to it, can you bring like a projector and put it on the wall and then yeah. with your little red light you can, and that, so yes. the people yes. can really get the message and get informed. Yes, that, that's what um, we had planned to do and have a laptop and it was, yeah. And that's what we did at the school, because it was all three schools, right. and there were about 250 teachers that were, we had a, a projection. We were going to do it, and I think it was going to be at the uh, library, and that got canceled. Right. And new appointments will be made uh, next week. Yeah, so we would we would project, because I understand it's, this, we rushed and, and, and just did this because... No, but it's, it, anyway. it's a good overview of yeah. your... Of your yeah. Yes. And it's, and it's a yeah. start. We yeah. appreciate it. It's, it's a start yeah. of a dialogue. Yeah. I, I appreciate that you brought this much. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yes. How many people would you invite to see tonight? Um, I think a hundred and fifty. I talked to Veronica and she said there was about a hundred. About a hundred. Yeah. Are you going to reach out to like the five hundred? Yeah. Radius? <clears throat> yeah. The, the the thought of this was um, what the councilman's office said was you know the people who live contiguous to the site and closest to the site. Are people whose whose voice needs to be heard like the most early. vocal? So we, that, so that was kind of the idea. Okay, let's do that. The 500 that you're talking about, I believe, when we actually go for the formal hearing, like to uh, plan. I don't know if it goes to planning commission or city. Whatever the process when it goes, then there's a mailing that goes out to 500 feet. 500 foot radius. This, yeah, 500 foot radius. This site down is so prominent, and it's it, it affects. So many people in our community because we all go by it hundreds of times. Right. So it's not. It is important to those of us who live directly around it. Yes. But the entire community needs to know about this because we're all affected. By it. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. that. And our goal is really to have an extensive outreach. How so about putting so a banner can... out there on the mountain on the side so all these people that go by Eastern and Lombardi can see a banner out there between the trees somewhere or uh, some poles, a steel poles. Put a nice banner and put the date where, when you're able to find a place and all that to have it for the community, put a banner out there so all these people and more can go to come. Hold notice. Regarding the development, I don't think there should be posting something. Public notice. See, that way you have a broad view of this project and not just the people that want to kill it. I don't yeah. think they want to kill it. They don't want to see, nobody here wants to see that. They want to see a park, but nobody can move their finger to get a park going. So it's not true. 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 And um, and then I understand there's like sort of a, a kind of like a chamber of commerce and and El Serino Business Association. We're going to do a presentation there. We've got the land use committee, which is as I understand, basically the council's office, the outreach person is an A, and the land use committee should be you know kind of helping us and directing us. 
And so we would have more. And, and, and I, I, I did pick this place that I thought was just really cool. I did not really think very many people were coming. And, and I apologize because it was, it was obviously kind of tight. We could probably have a better venue. And so maybe if someone wants to recommend a place, I did ask the council, could we do it at the councilman's office? He said, well, no, not at this hour. And the library wasn't available. The senior center or the Korean church? Korean Church has a lot of public meetings for a lot of different issues that concern the area here. Is that, a, is that a, the Korean Church? church and the, is that a place people would want to be at? Sure. Both of those? It's available. Well, what about yeah, the well, that's center? for him to find out. Yeah. Whoever has their calendar free for you is to get the community to come. Yeah. Or at the El Sereno Park, if they didn't have a auditorium that was condemned. Right, right. Yeah, we'll Right, it's useless. And, then, and, then, and we do actually, I do have this on, um, it's like on a, on a slide that we would show up. But sometimes, though, that's not even fit. We went to the school one, and there was just big light in there, and then the projector wasn't that bright, and so it was very faint. So, I mean, sometimes it's a little, it's, it's never quite perfect, but, but we'll definitely bring. Well, you know, just I'll bring both for the next one. There's something to look at, and then we can also project. So, yeah. thank you. Any other questions right now? Did you bring anything like a proposed plan or something? Any handouts? Hand out? Flyers? It's really, it's really preliminary. We, we don't really have anything to hand out yet. Okay. This is just, honestly, uh, just a start. Oh, my um, there's just a lot more thinking that we need to do to try to incorporate their thoughts. And obviously, you know, we want to think about the height. Um, issue. That's absolutely what everybody doesn't want is three stories, even though there's two more than a million talks about. We should at least talk about that and just say, okay, well, um, we did the other one. There's, there's, there's a way to do that. Also that could be handled without the big public issues. Is our existing North East LA Hillside board. And so it's not so much we absolutely don't need three stories, it's that's just not legal. So, and the same with yeah. 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 well, I think that's the yeah. number yeah. one issue with most of the residents, yeah. as myself, yeah. is the and, inside and, ordinance. And, and we, are, we are really focused on it. And let me just say, we have had multiple meetings with various people. There's a lot of, by the way, I count there's over a thousand paid planners in the city of LA between downtown and all the field offices and the council. They're like the national planners. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of planning that goes on in LA. And we have talked with lots of different ones, and there's, there's a fair amount of, of, of confusion and things having to do with hillside things. And um, I, I just wanted to explain that this is what we got told. Okay? And again, it's, it's a process that we're going through. But the Northeast Hillside Ordinance was drafted to, to supersede in some cases, the actual call the hillside ordinance for the city of LA. Now, the hillside ordinance, there isn't a height limit, or there's a height limit, but it's much higher. You can't do three story, and you can't do taller chains. But here, there's that hillside ordinance. But what was explained to us, what, what was the spirit and intent of the Northeast Hillside Ordinance was to protect um, various certain bridge lines. This is all on the website, I'm picking it up. It's on there, there's a map of protected bridge lines. Safety. Yes, but in talking about like the ridge lines, so this this hill, this bump, this this, this topographic feature at Lombardi is is not a protected ridge line. It's not part of one of the protected ridge lines. Now I'm not saying it doesn't apply. All I'm saying is it's not a protected ridge line. The other thing that the Northeast Center was explaining to me, its intent was to govern like single lot development. Like, one, one law. And it has certain things that are confusing to try to interpret if you're doing a development of more than one lot. And so there's a lot of consternation and, and, and thinking and planners debating. I'm like watching our team, we're like what you know, listening to different divisions in LA planning, you know, talk about this. So this is like hundred percent clear. The, the height limit is. No, I, I, I completely understand. I have to deal with city inspectors all the time. Yeah. And I have to go by my NEC code book. 
and everyone interprets it differently. Yeah. And, and so, like, one time, you know, I go and I talk to some planners, and then I go, okay, I understand. Then we go to the next thing, I said, this is something different. I go, well, wait a minute, where does this mean? And that person said that. And I said, well, and then they say a bunch of other stuff, and I go, okay. And then you go to the third one, now you think you've been corrected in reading the series, and this one's a different one, but it's kind of like the first one. Anyways, like, all these people are in the same room at the same time, and just tell us what it is. But, but not, I mean, to be, you know, straight, and what, I mean, we do understand there are a couple of objective things, and, and there are more stuff. The building height, the same as we get. If, if we don't, if, 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 if we ultimately, after, after all the meetings in the process, we say, boy, we're really opposed to having any retaining wall over six feet, because that's what the ordinance says. You can go max 12, so you can divide it up anyway. No wall can show more than six feet. And we have our, our steepest condition is nine and a half. It's, it can be solved by doing two walls. So why wouldn't we just do two walls? Well, we might just make it easy. But, you know, it doesn't really change anything. It doesn't really look any different. It's just two walls, not one. Because you'll see, if you're looking up the hill, there's a wall, and then there's a road, and then there's a wall. I mean, it's still going to appear as a single wall. But that being said, there's a solution there. The building height, please. Even, okay, so the last thing I was going to say is, I mean, the building height, that, that's an objective number. Okay? It's designed to have only two-story homes. And we do have a plan. It's this exact plan with two-story. Three-story has some of the advantages that we talked about. But if it becomes something that, like, everybody in the entire community just says, wow, that is not something that's going to be two-story. I think, what I think, and I already said it, and I want to keep going on, I think I have to kind of, you know, some more stuff, or just have some more dialogue. And then I don't want to kind of, you know, anything. But we have certain reasons for that that include putting the houses at a three-story. Like, these three-story homes are not going to be seen by these homes. In fact, these homes, when you look at the elevation, I have it on that um, section. The space, like, like the space, with these plot to the property line is farther away than where these plot, the existing homes. And the elevation change from here to here is greater than 25 feet. So, if this person were to look up, first of all, they'd see some trees. But second of all, what they would see is part of this two-story house. But by line of sight study, they will not see that. From the street, you wouldn't see it. Here, I don't know, maybe you, for a split second, you might have eye there, you might, but there's probably going to be trees here. I think you'd see it from this house, but it seems like, as I've looked at them, and I don't know if there's anybody here who lives in any of these houses that are contiguous, there's a slope that goes down, then there's the house, and then the house is kind of almost like butted up against the, the slope. And there's, they have you know, fairly small backyards, I think, for some of these things. And they're not oriented to the back because you just have a slope. They're more oriented to the front. And then you go up the slope, and then there's those houses. So I don't know, I don't think, I mean, maybe this house you could see that it's a three story, but I don't think the orientation of this house is between the back and the slope. I'm not 100% sure. Take it here in the middle. We put these around as two story because people over here will look over and see the two story, and you probably have this large big obscure. Same thing from this direction. Here, okay, these ones, three story, are near your home, ma'am. Yes. However, like, if you're actually not across your from your house, you're really across your from this commercial. No, actually, the um, record company is the house, then the slope, and then the commercial. Yeah, so it's okay. it's close, but anyway. Well, the driveway would be kind of coming. Any questions, John? Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's just kind of the thought. But, but we can lose the three story and make them two. And would you talk to the um, excavation restrictions? You know, I'm not fluid on that, but um, I, if you have any specific questions, you have my email, shoot me an email, and I can try to answer them. Well, the ordinance is clear, but I'm just wondering about your quantity of excavation. I, I believe we're, we're way below the quantity of excavation. But I, I don't have any numbers, and you know, I'm not the project manager. Because it hasn't that. been really engineered yet. We haven't done final engineering. I mean, there are... Um, I mean, yeah, there, there are estimates of some quantities. Because you're removing the hilltop, right? You're bringing the hilltop We're not removing down. it, but we are taking it down about, I, I don't want to guess, some number of feet. 
I mean, it's not huge, but no, 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 it's going to be like about, I don't want to guess because then you'll remember it. Then. <laughs> but it's a, there's a number. It's right here. You know, I, I just don't have a number. I'm sorry. That's cool. Just, just shoot me an email, and I can try to answer those questions for you. Um, yeah. What is your email? Just so that. Um, it's um, dan at clearwatercommunities.com. Okay. How did you guys arrive with that name? Anything with that Clearwater Revival? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I mentioned I have two boys, and they are uh, both very much environmentally oriented. And um, in thinking of a company name, I didn't want to use my name, it's not my thing. And um, when I came to just being a parent, and my kids got into scouting, and then I got recruited to be the scoutmaster of all things, I was not a Boy Scout. I've been a scoutmaster for the last four years, and my younger, my older boy, Eagle, the other one actually just earned his Eagle. He Congratulations. He's been awarded. It's a, it's a huge thing, but, but all of that. And um, just, I have a lot of interaction with you, teenagers, and I've really come to realize that, I think, I mean, it's pretty, pretty much universal. People really are thinking about the environment. And so we're a company that we're thinking about those kinds of things and being conscious of that. and. It came as a word. I, I didn't. I did used to like that band, <laughs> Creedence Clearwater. But when I thought about it, it just kind of came up as something that had kind of a nice. How old are your eagles? Uh, the older boy is 19, and the younger boy is 17. They're going to college. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? USC. Okay. 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 Thank you, Dan. <laughs> USC, I hope. Uh, <laughs> There is San Diego the State. I didn't go there. Um, UC like San Diego. Those are small lot development. Those are part of the small lot development guidelines which you're required to adhere to. No, my understanding is the rainwater capture and recycling is not required. You can tap into the storm drain. Thank you. Uh -huh. But, the, but there are requirements of the small lot development that you must have laid out. Yeah, any any development of any kind, you have to handle the water. Um, it's, there's very intense rules about all sorts of runoff and things. It's extremely highly, it's one of the, it's very regulated. I mean, we used to budget, just as by the way, from say 10 or 15 years ago, about $300 a lot to handle rainwater during construction. It's now over $3,000 a lot just to reply to water regulations. Rainwater is tightly managed, but I'm thinking of all the other uh, great events, like you're talking about saying those water heaters or the other elements that you're talking about. Those are requirements of small development guidelines that you should complete to the slides. You know, it's a, I don't know. You know, I'm not an expert on this code. And, and, and if you say it is, perhaps it is. We, we just did a small lot in North Hollywood, and by the way, that was that was around 20 of the acre, detesting with that. 1,600 to 1,900 something square feet. So that was way more intense, like double the density of the sphere. But we were not required and didn't do tankless water. Did you do any green elements there? Um, well, we didn't do the gray water. We. You know, there was no recycling need because basically the whole thing was built. It was very, you know, kind of more urban. Um, but there were, you know, I mean, there was like uh, catch basins and channels that were connected to the storm. It was in this project that we learned about the um, rainwater capture recycling. So we got excited about it, so we're doing it. And in fact, when I mentioned it to the school, I got invited and I'm going to be giving a talk to the school just about green building and recycling to the middle school and high school. Maybe elementary. It's great that you're doing your required outreach. I know that you're required to connect with elementary schools and you talk to them about overpopulating them by bringing them to the city school. It's great that you're doing that. Yeah, well, you're right. It's important to try to understand. Like, one of the things, I know, we're really dragging on. If anybody wants to leave, I'm not going to be offended. And if there's any coffee left, hey, please feel free. Um, Yeah, when we were talking with this, 
with the principal of the schools, I was asking him, well, what might your concerns be? And they didn't particularly have them, but I said, well, if I were running the school, my, one of my concerns would be losing trucks and, you know, onloading and offloading the vehicles. Because when you have, like, the big machines that come on, you're on the street, they block traffic, they come off and then the truck leaves. But during that, say, 30 minutes, how long it's there to offload, it's blocked. So one thing we can do is not do it. Another thing, we've been, we're, we're really aware of the traffic. It's, it's you know, an, an issue. And, um, I have a question. I'm, I'm curious, in regards, since it's private streets, private property, not public streets, uh, what's going to be about the street sweeper? That's not the issue. Know, I, the I, issue I, is there. I, I, might, I might have misspoke. I know I said these are going to be <laughs> private streets, and I might have made a mistake, and they might actually be dedicated public. But I'm not 100 percent sure. I think they're it's private. Work, probably. Yeah, I, I need to double check that. I, I, I might have made a mistake. Because if I they become public, private, and all the things that apply to any street in the city that's public yeah, if, will if, apply if to that, public, including the street sweeping. Yeah, thing. I, I, I mean I think it's private. And the street, the street sweeping, and I'm thinking about the it. Issue. The issue if it's a private, street sweeping, I know. If, okay. right. the rich. if it's rich people's security. <laughs> yeah. If it's private, then, then part of the main association would, would be to have, have the, the responsibility. Yeah. 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 If it's public, it would just fall into the public realm. I, 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 I don't know why I'm, room. I'm just yeah. blanking <laughs> on the public and private streets. Wait, I don't even have a sidewalk! <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? That's true. Okay. I'm worried about street. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> That's not the issue. The hill is the issue. Okay. All right. Well, um, if you if, if, uh, run down. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, appreciate you. Thank you a lot.